is blah, 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 blah. The next one. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my thriller recommendation video part Five. I do this every single year in October. I am a self-proclaimed thriller queen. It is my favorite genre. So every year I try to recommend another five for you guys. So if you are interested in parts one to four, I will leave them linked down below so you guys can check those out. Obviously I won't be talking about any of the books I've talked about in those videos in this one. But here are five more thriller recommendations for you all for the month of October. So without further ado, let us get started. The first thriller that I have to recommend is B.A. Paris's The Therapist. B.A. Paris is one of my favorite thriller authors. I find their books so much fun, but this one follows a woman named Alice and her husband Leo who just moved into a gated community. They spend the majority of their time trying to get to know their new neighbors, and then Alice discovers a secret that Leo has been hiding from her about the couple that used to live in their new home. When Alice begins to ask the neighbors about what happened to this therapist that used to live in the home, nobody really wants to talk about it and so Alice becomes a little bit obsessed with finding out what happened and it's like the story of that. This author is one that I always think that I have the whole plot and everything figured out, the whodunit of the mystery, and then I am always so incredibly wrong and it makes me so so happy every single time. This author is so good at having characters that you do not trust in the slightest and you are questioning literally everybody in the story. I also think that this author is really great at suspense and still having that fast pace that you need for a thriller novel to make it exciting. Honestly, I would recommend any B.A. Paris book, but this is the latest one that I read. So the next I'm book I have to recommend is You Will Remember Me by Hannah Mary McKinnon. This follows a man who is walking along the beach. He cannot remember anything, but he does have a gash on his head. He does remember that he lives in Maine, so he decides to go back to the last place he can remember. This also follows Lily Reed, whose boyfriend Jack recently went missing, and when she reports him missing to the police, they begin to uncover a lot of secrets about him that she did not know. The book also follows Maya Scott, who has been searching for her older brother Asher, who disappeared without a trace, only leaving a note behind years ago. Then, suddenly he returns, with his memory erased, and Maya believes that this may be a blessing. But with shared secrets between Maya and Asher, Maya will stop at nothing to keep these secrets between those two. And it's like the story of those three characters, and it is so thrilling and so exciting. I loved every second of this book. Right from the very beginning, I was so invested in figuring out how all three of these characters were all tied together in some way. We actually get three points of views, Asher, Lily, and Maya, which I think was a really creative way to tell this story. I think that it was a really great way to see inside all three of these characters' heads and how they all interacted with each other and what they were thinking at the time. I also think that the the suspense built so quickly and the tension between all of these characters was so well done. Honestly, the entire time I was reading this book, I was on the edge of my seat. I actually read it in two sittings because I did not want to put the book down. I was so intrigued. The ending was by far the best part. I did not expect that ending and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Definitely, definitely recommend this thriller. Next up, I have The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. Uh, this is another author I adore. Lisa Jewell writes some great thrillers, in my opinion. This one follows Libby, who on her 25th birthday discovers that she has inherited a house with a very dark past. Years ago, when officers are called to this house, they discover three dead adults and a 10-month-old baby alone in a crib upstairs with nothing but a note that says, please take care of of our daughter. No one knows where the other children who were living in this house went 
and they have yet to be able to find them so many years later and it's like the story of that. This is definitely more of a slow paced thriller so if you are looking for quicker faster thrillers definitely pick up the first two that I recommended because this is not what you're looking for but this slow pacing does not detract from the need to know more feeling that I love to get with thrillers. When picking up this book I had no idea that this was about a cult so once I discovered that I was so invested in this story. I'm quickly becoming a huge Lisa Jewell fan. I love her writing style. From what I've read so far, she usually has two perspectives that are known to the reader and then a third mystery narrator who you don't know who it is while you're reading, but eventually you will find out who it is. And it's always so shocking to me who they end up being. I was so invested in all three of these points of views. I don't think I liked one over the other. I was so invested in figuring out the mystery behind what happened to Libby and her siblings in that house. My favorite character is definitely Henry. If you pick up this book, I feel like you're going to be so intrigued by his character. It is so interesting to dive into his mind. He's one of those characters that you do not know if you can trust him throughout the entire thing and where he lies in this story. It it is so interesting to learn more about him as the story goes on. He is like the epitome of unreliable narrators and if you've been on this channel for a while you know that I am a huge fan of unreliable narrators so this book worked for me. If you were looking for a slow paced thriller I definitely recommend this domestic thriller. It's so good. Next I'm going to recommend The Perfect Mother by Amy Malloy. So this book follows a group of new mothers who live in Brooklyn. They all gave birth in May so they decide to call themselves the May Mothers. They all decide that they need a night out on the town and so they leave their babies with their significant others. Single mother Winnie does not have that luxury so she decides she is not going to go out until the girls convince her that they can hire a babysitter and have her come out with them. When Winnie returns from her long night out, she discovers that her baby Midas has gone missing and there is a very distraught babysitter that is saying that she fell asleep and heard nothing. And it's like the story of trying to find Midas and if he's okay, where he went, and everybody's opinions on this new mother. This is another one that I thought I had figured out completely and I was so wrong. There were so many twists and turns that I would not see coming because I was like, yep, this is what's gonna happen and then this twist would happen and I'd be like, okay, now the story took a completely different turn and it was so much fun. I loved how we got different chapters from different people who would express what they thought of the disappearance and everything. It was done in such a rapid pace that it really enhanced the overall thrill ride of this book. I think all of the May Mothers were a lot of fun. They all had very unique personalities that brought a lot to the story. My favorite was definitely Nell. She was just so witty and sarcastic and a lot of fun. Also, a big fan of Token, who was the token dad of the group. See what she did there? It was like his nickname. I love it. I think it's so cute, but it was a lot of fun. This is a really quick, fun thriller. Definitely recommend if you're looking for something fast with pretty unique characters. The next and final book that I have for round five of my thriller recommendations is Someone We Know by Sherry LaPena. This is another author that I read all of their books from, and I usually really, really love them. So this follows a neighborhood where a woman named Amanda was recently killed, so everybody in the neighborhood is very on edge trying to figure out who the murderer can be. After multiple break-ins in the neighborhood, it is discovered that it is actually a teenage boy who is behind these break-ins. He never actually stole anything, but he was able to hack into the computers of the people of the neighborhood and discover a lot of secrets that may actually help solve Amanda's murder, and it's like the story of that. So like I said, I have read a lot of Sherry LaPena books. This is my fourth of hers and I always love her writing style. Every single time I am instantly drawn into the story and hooked on the characters and trying to figure out the mystery that they are trying to solve. The drama in the neighborhood is so entertaining. It was so much fun trying to uncover the secrets that these people were hiding from each other. Amanda's husband is probably the most intriguing character to me. He gives off such psychopath vibes and if you don't know this about me, I have this weird obsession with like serial killers, psychopaths. I just find their minds so interesting so being able to see inside of his mind was really cool. I was so invested in trying to figure out Amanda's murderer. I had suspected everybody and even in the end I had no idea who it was. 
every single suspect at some point lied and tried to deceive the police so it was so hard to eliminate any of them. I'm pretty sure I did suspect every single neighbor at some point in the story but I did end up figuring out who it was but it did take me quite a while so I'm not counting that as a figuring it out kind of killer situation you know. This one was just really fast paced, super fun, super addictive, could not put it down, so definitely recommend this one as well. Alright everybody, so those were my thriller recommendations for this year's annual thriller recommendation video, part 5 on my channel. I can't believe I've done 5 of these. Let me know down below if you have read any of these what you thought of them, and also please let me know some thrillers that you think I should check out because, like I said, self-proclaimed thriller queen, always looking for more. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!